Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for viewing. Today I'm going to start doing a weekly tarot. Now, first off, which I will just explain, if you do have any feedback for today, please leave it as a comment. If you have a specific question that you want me to ask the cards in the future for a future show, because I will be doing this every week, please comment below any questions that you have and I will just use it as a generic, I've been asked this question, I won't name names, okay, I don't do that, okay? So today I'm going to use the lovely cards given to me by Louise Benton. Here's her card. So if you do want to go over to her website, here it is for you. She sells a multitude of things, cards, um, like greeting cards, as well as tarot cards, as well as prints, etc., so please go check her out if you want to. So good on you, Louise, for doing great work. Okay, so today I'm using her cards. I have a specific way of doing my cards. Everybody has different techniques. So I'm only going to do what I do myself. Okay, so today the intention of the reading, if you want to call it a reading, I'm going to ask what advice or what does the world need to show right now for the whole world what is needed what is some advice so please give me a card that we can all learn from that we can grow from that we can demonstrate to others with every interaction that we do with ourselves and everyone else around us thank you so much so I actually shuffle my cards. This is quite a big deck, so I can't hold them this way. So I'm going to hold them this way and I shuffle them. And the universe will throw me out a card that represents the question or that intention of what I just had. So the intention is I wish to receive a card that represents what the whole globe of the earth needs right now. Any advice that you wish to give us that we can learn from or utilize in our daily lives for the next week. So what I do is I shuffle and I wait for a card to be thrown out. This is how I operate. Now these cards, interesting, what's just happened? Okay, some of them these were all in one order when I started and now some of them have turned around. That is so weird. I'm just putting them back in order. Some of them had just turned around. They were all up the same way when I started. Okay, so let me start this again now that they're in order. Okay, so here we go. Just throw me a card that the whole world needs to hear right now something that we can utilize in our lives something that we need to show to others something that we need within ourselves for the whole world at this point for the next week just throw me out one card and as you can see i don't look at my cards to see what they're doing so then one can throw out just one card is all that i ask for sometimes this can take 10 minutes by the way It's all good. We just allow a card to be thrown out. So I just keep thinking of the intention that I want to create here. The intention is I'm looking for one card that the world needs to hear right now. One card that can represent everybody on this planet all seven billion of us yeah what do we need right now what does the world need show us a card one card it can take a while guys okay Please throw me out one card as a message to the whole world at this point. One card. 
Don't know about you, but I'm waiting patiently for one card to drop. If that was the one that I meant to do, it'll drop again. It's funny how, you know, one will pop out like that and then it will pop again if that's the one that was needed. Okay? It's funny how you can do a card spread three or four times and the same card just keeps popping out all the time. So I'm looking for one card that represents what the world needs right now. For all of us on the planet. Oh! So there's the ones that I've got. And here's my card. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to put all those ones back up down. Okay. And I'll come in so we can read this one. Isn't this an amazing picture? It's called the heel card. And as I explain, heel, I'm just going to put it up there so you can see what the amazing words that Louise has put on these. Heal. Release the bonds of days gone by. Forgive and let go. Let spirit fly. Liberate the ancestral lines, patterns and beliefs that cut and bind. A symbolic bond with earth we share. She feels our pain and our despair. Transform from within and find your peace. Only then the turmoil of this world will cease. Allow, acknowledge and embrace your pain. From shadow there is much to gain. Behold the hidden gifts inside that will transmute the darkness into light. This life is a chapter, many paths you have trodden. Lives and times now long forgotten. So let's go from everything. Hold on to nothing. It's all for your learning, the joy and the suffering. Release and be free. Let light fill your soul. Be mindful. Tread lightly. Know what it is to be whole. I transmute the darkness into light. What a message for the world this week. To heal. So how do we heal this, guys? First of all, we've got to acknowledge the pain or the injury that we have. We identify it and call it out. It could be something physical it could be something mental, it could be something energetic that we have on us that we wish to heal. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous card for my first ever tarot reading, yeah? The heal card. So when we look at the words, release the bonds, how do we release, guys? We acknowledge it, we give thanks to it, we appreciate all that was happening with it and then we allow it to leave us and we give grace of God for it being on us because everything that happens to us is always to teach us a lesson. She feels our pain and our despair. Mother Earth is crying at this point. Mother Earth doesn't want us to be bickering, sarcastic, abusing, attacking. Mother Earth doesn't want us to be segregated or divided. Mother Earth wants us to be a collective universal energy force. Yeah? Allow. How often do I say allow others to be who they are? Acknowledge and embrace your pain. So you call out that what's caused that pain. You create this like little ball in your hand and you say, you know what? Like, let's just say you've got a sore knee. I call out the pain in my knee. I call out my knee. I'm now holding my knee in my hand. You are forgiven because I allow you and I accept you and I appreciate you. So now I can release you as so graciously and so thankfully for you have shown me something that I need to learn from. From shadows there will be much to gain. 
So now, even through healing, we have a hope that things will improve for us. So as this is a tarot card, we look at where we are now on the globe. Things will get better, okay? So trust it. Trust that things are coming. And this is a representation that the healing is there if we allow it. This life is just a chapter, many paths you have trodden. What we see now, this materialistic world, it's not the end of our lives. Hello, I died in 2001. I know that my soul is eternal. This is just a blink in that awesome eternity of our soul's life. So please remember here, guys, we put too much onus onto our possessions, onto our jobs, onto our cars, onto our clothing, onto our pets, etc. Our pets will always be with us. Our cars can always be with us. Our clothes, our jewellery will always be with us. Because ultimately, at home, we think and we create. It's back there with us. Eternity is always in our grasps. Okay? So let go of everything. Hold on to nothing. For at the end of the day, guys, the only thing that matters is what we hold in here. It's the love that we share. It's the love that we emit to everybody else. And most of all, it's the love that we create regarding ourselves. True love only starts when we truly love ourselves so don't blame yourself for the situation that you're in now let it go and just allow it to unfold because you're still here breathing right you're still here you have so much more to give not only to yourself but to others release and be free my gosh how much did the earth need to hear that one today Freedom only exists within us. Okay? Try and understand that anything that other people, other bodies of corporations or governments, anything that they impose on us can never take away what we hold within us. Okay? Let light to your soul. Be mindful. Tread lightly. Know what it is to be whole. Once we successfully release all those negativities within us and we create this positive, loving environment within ourselves, it manifests, it triggers other people to also be like that. And it also triggers other people who aren't at our frequency. They will blame us. They will attack us. They character assassinate us. They pull us down to their level because they can't handle facing their own truths of who they are. So they blame. So allow them. Release it and be free. Know what it is to be whole. Accept who you are graciously and allow all the love of the universe to enter. Because this week is all about self-healing. I hope that you've liked today's card. What an amazing, amazing card. I'll put it there in case you want to pause the screen and read it yourself. Read the words and live the words of this card. Heal. For everything is within us. Catch you next week for another tarot spread. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, 
please visit www.lindaray.info.